Pancreatic cancer is one of the most deadliest cancer. It's one of the most aggressive cancer. Five year survival is very low, around 10%. And in many cases, it, it's much lower. Problem is early metastasis. Because when we diagnose pancreatic cancer, usually it's already metastasis. And common places for metastasis are liver. For example, on this picture here is metastasis liver lungs, bones, peritoneum. Usually it's diagnosed after 65, both in men and women, slightly more common among men. And it's fourth leading cause of cancer-related death. But actually, it's 11th most common cancer among men and ninth most, most common cancer among women. And still, fourth leading cause of cancer related death so it's very aggressive cancer and you may know Steve Jobs Steve Jobs also was diagnosed by pancreatic cancer and he lived eight years eight year with pancreatic cancer is considered very long life but at this case Steve Jobs has had much uh, less severe form of pancreatic cancer it was uh, endocrine tumor and not adenocarcinoma which is much more aggressive form of pancreatic cancer another problem is that on early stages there is no symptoms abdominal discomfort can be presented but it's very non-specific symptom and usually doctors will not suspect about cancer when person has only abdominal discomfort because it's not non-specific symptom um, in advanced stages there is weight loss because of enzyme malfunction and malabsorption because pancreas produces enzymes which which are important for fat metabolism and malabsorption is common when there is pancreatic cancer especially advanced stages and also cancer causes inflammation inflammatory reactions in whole body and it also causes weight loss so unexplained weight loss is symptom jaundice also a symptom if pancreatic cancer obstructs common bile duct then bilirubin in the blood causes it, it uh, deposits on skin and it causes jaundice eventually and diabetes because of pancreatic malfunction and if older person has suddenly diabetes it can be pancreatic cancer so it can be symptom of pancreatic cancer if older per person will suddenly diagnose uh, diabetes now let's say what is risk factors we have no very clear risk factors here we can say that more than 50 percent around 60 percent it's sporadic or idiopathic we have no any clear cause which which can be reason of this pancreatic cancer but there is some associations for example in 20% smoking obesity and high fat meal in 15% and genetic in 10% of cases so there is some correlations some risk factors but no clear evidence how we diagnose we diagnose usually with CT scan pancreatic cancer with CT scan with contrast uh, with MRI also ultrasound is useful also in some cases and we have marker marker CA199 but this marker is not very specific and not very sensitive that's why it's not very useful uh, of di uh, or not very useful for screening or diagnose pancreatic cancer because it's not very sensitive also not very specific it can be elevated during liver problems so not very specific not very sensitive but it has some deterministic function during prognosis if person already has pancreatic cancer and this uh, and this marker is elevated it can have some correlation with uh, poor prognosis treatment we have no QR treatment is surgery surgery is eligible in 20 to 30 percent of cases because as we said during time of diagnosis 
it's already late it's already late stages so that's huge problem uh, chemotherapy chemotherapy has some effect some benefits several months uh, and uh, but uh, chemotherapy also not very effective recently we have some studies we have some improvements in immunotherapy it can be some promising especially pembrolizumab and it improves lifespan for several months it's not big achievement but still important and some uh, in time there is chance that much better treatment develop from immunotherapy because we already have some improvements and extended life is around six months it's still good of course it's not enough but still good and we need more working on it also and there is vaccine vaccine in developmental stages and early stages vaccine in mice there is mice studies and this vaccine reduced occurrence of pancreatic cancer by 70 percent it's very important uh, this vaccine panvax uh, panvax target uh, some protein which is expressed on this cancer uh, cancer cell surface and destroy this cancer and uh, this vaccine is effective not only for prevention of pancreatic cancer but also uh, when it's already developed there is some important progress and in prevention prevention rate is six, uh, 70 percent which is quite high and uh, actually is good uh, results so uh, let's see what will be in future we have some hopes but at this at this stage pancreatic cancer is still huge challenge for human health thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now